Uh, well, welcome this evening, uh, August the 12th. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's super hot, uh, as, uh, as Tyler mentioned. And uh, I want to thank everyone for joining uh, on this nice day. Uh, we have a presentation, as Tyler had suggested, uh, has mentioned, I'm sorry. And then we will, most importantly, as part of this process, move on to receiving your feedback and uh, answering, hopefully, any questions that, uh, that you have. So the, this slide is split into two. Uh, it's an aerial photograph of, of showing the property and the surrounding area. And the right side of the screen is a little more zoomed in. The property itself is outlined in red, as you can follow my cursor. Harvey Road is right about in the middle of the plan. This is Beacon Road, where the existing roadway terminates. The city does own the right of way down to Harvey Road. And as part of this application, the proposal is to construct Beacon Road to connect to the intersection at Brushwood. Uh, Veterans Drive is to the west. And of course, as you know, Harvey Road now extends over, um, over the highway. Um, the surrounding land uses, as you can see a little bit more from this, from the right side of the screen where my cursor is, uh, we have Trillium Woods Elementary School and the park uh, to the south, southwest, immediately south as well, Thrushwood and existing uh, residential dwellings there. To the north is Montserrat uh, Street and Montserrat Park, and some townhouses here and to the north. Uh, and then you have the three lots that are subject to this application, which are 108, 116, and 122 Harvey Road. And they're uh, similar in shape and, and orientation and configuration as the three additional lots to the west. And the area subject to this application is about 2.5 hectares, which equates to about 6.2 acres. Uh, the property has about 127 meters of frontage on Harvey Road and 195 meters of frontage on the what will be the future extension of Beacon Road. Um, I also should mention that there's also a Kemp Lane is a is a small road stub off of Montserrat Street, and uh, there will be ultimately a provision for the extension of, of Kemp Street as part of future applications to the west. A few uh, pictures to set the, uh, the the framework for tonight's meeting. Of course, these are the existing detached dwellings that uh, exist on the three residential lots. This is Montserrat Park, which is to the north, and the existing townhouse to development to the north. Uh, to the east, you have the hydro corridor. And of course, as everyone who lives in the area is aware, and probably everyone almost in the city is aware of the new extension over Harvey Road. To the south uh, is the existing residential subdivision on Thrushwood Drive. Um, that's the Maple Woodland subdivision. And then to the west, there's additional residential dwellings. And then the closest intersection is actually at Harvey Road at Veterans Drive, which uh, this, this shot uh, nicely illustrates the uh, upgrades to that intersection as a result of the reconstruction of Harvey Road and the overpass. Okay, so now we get into a little bit of the, the details behind uh, the, the application and the policy framework that exists in the city of Barrie. This sketch, this this map that you see in front of you is called. Uh, it's an excerpt of the city's official plan. And what an official plan is is a document that guides land use planning decisions over a 20-year horizon. And so the yellow color that's dominant on the screen is uh, residential. And so the, the lands are designated residential, not surprisingly. And that residential designation permits all forms of residential housing subject to a number of policy criteria that have to be evaluated on an individual application basis. Uh, the parks to the north, which is Montserrat Park and Toyota Woods Park to the south are in this light green color. To the east is a general industrial designation that exists north and south of Harvey Road. And to the west, you can see this pink color that's general commercial and farther southeast and south, uh, sorry, southeast and, and northwest you can see this color, which is an environmental protection area. This is the existing zoning on the lands. The lands are zoned R1, which is a low density residential category. Rezoning uh, re these lands to a, to a, a, a multiple density residential uh, um, category and an R4 category, which is for singles, is what this application is proposing. And so forget the, the, the technical terminology shown in this little caption here, it's really to rezone lands from R1, which as you can see R1 today, to RM2 and RM2 with townhouses. So the RM2 would allow um, uh, condominium, um, uh, condominium uh, townhouses and uh, apartment dwellings, and then townhouses, and then the R4, which is a single detached dwellings. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then the surrounding land uses, you have the townhouses to the north are 
are zoned RM2 on both sides of Monster End Street. Uh, the singles to the south, to the northwest, I'm sorry, and south on Thrushwood are zoned R2. The lands to the west are still in the same zoning category, R1, R and there's an RM2 zoning a little bit further uh, over uh, from the site. There are a number of special provisions. These are more technical in nature to affect the actual development proposal. And we're still working on these and they will change depending on the nature of the, um, of the, the development that is submitted for formal ap application. But this, uh, these um, specific special provisions speak to a lot of side yard and driveway lengths and, and different technical requirements in the zoning bylaw. And I can answer any specific questions if you have. And I believe, uh, Tyler, correct me if I'm wrong, but this presentation has been uploaded to the city's development website. Uh, yes, Ray, that's correct. Uh, under Ward 6 uh, for 108, 116, and 122 Harvey Road. Great. And I've made some changes to this presentation for this tonight's um, presentation. And uh, Tyler, I believe you'll be uploading this version onto the website at uh, your earliest convenience following the meeting. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Tyler. Um, as part of this, uh, exercise of working toward uh, through the pre-consultation process where we received a lot of feedback um, and moving towards the submission of applications. Of course, we're having the public this neighborhood meeting tonight to collect your feedback. There's a lot of technical work that has to be undertaken. And there's a listing of the type of work that's ongoing right now. So an archaeological report has been completed, geotechnical investigations, a scope natural heritage evaluation, which is effectively looking at and any species at risk and any on-site natural heritage features, if there exists, a hydrogeology, a hydrogeology report, functional servicing and stormwater management reports, traffic impact study, and a planning justification report. So those are the technical work that's going on in the background right now. And then there's, a, of course, there's site plans and renderings. There's surveys, both topographic and boundary, and a preliminary servicing plan. And ultimately, when these reports are all complete and the application has been formally submitted to the city of Barrie, all of these reports and, and plans will be available on the city's website for you to, to uh, go onto the development services section and actually look and download and, and review each report. So this slide shows the first application that is the nature of the subject of this neighborhood meeting today. It's the plan of subdivision application. And what this proposes is 12 detached residential lots that would front onto what will be the extension, as I mentioned earlier, the physical extension and construction of Beacon Road down to Harvey Road. And as part of pre-consultation, transportation staff have indicated that they would like to see Street A, as you can see my cursor here, basically a mid-block local road constructed down the, uh, in an east-west uh, orientation to allow for future access for the lands to the west. And then this is also the Kemp Street extension by the road stub, right? That would head down and connect also to that Street A um, local road. So we have the road, we have the 12 residential lots, we have a medium density block on the north side of that road, and then a medium density block on the south side of that road. And in addition to that, we have a few uh, smaller blocks. There's a road widening along Harvey Road, There'll be a road widening to actually widen the right of way for Beacon Road right here. And we have a drainage block located on the north end of the site. And then following the plan of subdivision, there would be future applications for site plan approval for this block and for this block. And we have conceptually illustrated how those blocks would be developed. So the block to the north, which is block B, would be a crescent road with townhouse lots in the uh, all, all servicing townhouse lots. And then a, a private amenity area in the midpoint of the site. Um, and some parking located along the north end and another amenity area that would be adjacent to Montserrat Park. And then on the south side, more town uh, condominium townhouses again on a crescent road shape with a private amenity area. But the city has also requested that we introduce a uh, a mid-rise or four-story built form that would be oriented towards Beacon Road and Harvey Road. And so this building, uh, Tyler had mentioned 50 units. Uh, we have a little bit more refined footprint now, which is 51 units. There would be underground uh, parking under that building, as well as uh, surface parking that would service these uh, the, the apartment units, as well as the townhouses. 
And overall, we're looking at a, about 127 units on the site that's comprised of 12 single detached residential units fronting on the Beacon Road. There's 38 condominium townhouses that would be located um, on the north side of Street A. And then a condominium, these might be even freehold on a condominium road. We have to formalize the condo structure. But townhouses, uh, there would be uh, 26 townhouses on the southerly block along with the 51 uh, apartment units located at the intersection. Uh, I just have a few more slides and then we can get right into the most important part of the presentation is to get your feedback. But here's some illustrations of the single detached units that would be fronting onto Beacon Road. These are sample elevations and uh, another couple of examples for you. And then this is a, a sample of the built form of the townhouses, a three-story in nature with some articulation of the facade and different building and material types uh, and recessed garages. Um, and here's the, the layouts. I'm not suspecting that there's any questions specifically about layouts, but we have some conceptual layouts uh, that the architect has prepared. And then we have a rendering of the actual four-story apartment building that would be oriented right towards the intersection of Harvey Road and Beacon Road. And here's a view straight on from Harvey Road. So uh, that's the end of the presentation.